If you think picking vegetables at eye level is cool, then you are going to want to watch this. Well, this is October, so this is obviously a fall garden. But look at the grow arches. This is what I call a grow arch. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I've got an entire playlist on vertical gardening, including the grow arch. And I'll put it up right about there, right about now. Look at these yard long green beans hanging down in the arch. That is pretty neat. Lots and lots of them. This is the first sunny day we've had in about, I don't know, seems like 40 days and 40 nights. But uh, just wanted to bring you out here and look at this. These are cucumbers hanging from the grow arch, hanging from the grow arch. And uh, they did at one time cover the entire thing. The rain has, has beat them down. The size of the fruit has kind of pulled down on the vines. Uh, just, it just has. But uh, here also, same way, this was, this was covered and it's just kind of all this, uh, the vines have been kind of yanked down because I just, we can't eat this many. <laughs> we cannot eat this many cucumbers. But look at the, uh, look at the, at the job the grow arches are doing. The grow arch is made with just a cattle panel, 16 foot long cattle panel that is formed in a upside down U shape uh, or a uh, Quonset type shape and held in place by, I use uh, heat posts, but um, yeah, you can use, use anything. You can use wooden posts if you want to. But look at this fall garden. My roosters are wanting to fight. One of them's wanting to fight and the other one's wanting to get away. Uh, <laughs> anyway, look at the production on these grow arches again we've got some that's just gotten huge and just laying there and i've pulled i don't gosh who knows i pulled some i've given a ton of them away on this grow arch i planted some beans also some of those yard long asian beans a few of them that they've just kind of got shaded out by the uh by the cucumbers in this one but the first one over here and there's some more obviously these are burpless cucumbers but look at that and is that is that pretty cool or what got yard long beans just hanging everywhere so uh again if you don't know what a uh, grow arch is if you don't know much about vertical gardening this works in a spring garden don't think this is just fall garden works great in a spring garden and uh man you need to do this i highly recommend especially if you're in the south let me get through here it looks like one of those Chinese curtains uh, if you're in the south man I recommend a fall garden this has been my best garden uh, more so than a spring garden by far the bugs have not been that bad the um, it's just it's just been great I tried to grow some cucumbers uh, in my spring garden and the squash bugs just took it over just ate them up couldn't do it couldn't do it but in the fall garden, they have flourished. I, I very seldom see a squash bug. These vines are beginning to die simply because they've just produced so much and I have not stayed up with the picking because we just, these are, these are table cucumbers, not pickling cucumbers. So a brother can only eat so many dang cucumbers and we have just not stayed up with them. And uh, so the fact the vine thinks it's time to go ahead and die. And we've gotten some cooler weather. We got down to about 45, 48. And the vines think it's time to die because they've got some big ones there that have produced their seeds. So the vines are starting to slow down. And we're probably a couple, three weeks away from a frost maybe. Just depends. But uh, anyway, it's just, it's a pretty neat thing to come out here and pick your groceries at eye level. So vertical gardening, I'm a big believer in it. And these grow arches are as good as any other way I've ever seen to do it. And I've tried uh, using cattle panels and just, you know, in a fence and growing up the fence. And I've tried cucumbers like that. 
most of them just want to grow taller than that. These beans want to grow taller than just a four foot, five foot fence. Uh, cattle panels typically are 50 inches, so you've got about a four foot, um, uh, a four foot wall of vertical gardening. And they just want to grow, they want to grow taller than that. These are six, six and a half feet tall. These vines are up six, six and a half feet easily and would have gone a lot taller than that. They're just starting to kind of crawl over. So they really want to go high. And uh, when, uh, when they want to go high, I go high, okay? <laughs> anyway, just thought you might want to see that. That is a pretty sight. Hanging, walking through beans. Walking through beans. Vertical gardening. Watch my videos on this. Watch my videos specifically on um, grow arches. And I think you'll like what you see. I've got peppers, pepper plants to show you too. That'll be in another video. For right now, we just want to concentrate on the grow arches. That's pretty neat. All right, we're gone. If you think picking If you think picking vegetables, if you think picking vegetables at eye level is cool, if you think picking vegetables at eye level is cool, if you think picking vegetables at eye level is cool, if you think picking vegetables at eye level is cool, then you're going to want to watch this. Then you're going to want to watch this. Then you're going to want to watch this.